The Japanese are coming back swinging after the massive tsunami rocked the country back on its heels. The newest two cars to see the light are the Mazda to carry and the latest performance Lexus, the GS 450 HF Sport. I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. If you love cars as much as we do, then please favorite us or subscribe. The Takeri concept car will kick off in December at the Tokyo Motor Show. This concept Mazda uses their new design language that they call Kodo, the soul of motion. Well, whatever they call it, it's a damn good looking car. It's a future generation concept of the Mazda 6 that uses as much technology as it can to bring the midsize sedan back into Mazda's camp, including KERS, or Kinetic Energy Recovery System. It's the car maker's first. It's a clean looking car with a minimalist interior that reminds you of the Shinari, Mazda's large concept car. The sedan would be offered with either a turbo diesel or a turbo gasoline engine. The downside to me is that it's front wheel drive. In cars that are above compact, and this is mid-sized, I just like rear wheel drive. Other than that, it should be a hit. The second car is the Lexus GF 450 HF Sport. Where the hell do they come up with these long, ridiculous names? Long name or not, this is an aggressive looking car for Lexus that improves on the 450 platform, taking it straight from strictly luxury to a four-door sports sedan, and it has all the features. The car will debut next week at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. This new GS has a more aggressive stance as well as variable sport tuned suspension. It's the first hybrid to have four-wheel steering and a radical braking system that consists of a two-piece rotor system that incorporates aluminum. 19-inch wheels come on the GS that are staggered, 235s in the front and 265s in the rear. Electric-assisted steering, which I'm not a fan of, an adjustable driver mode select system that includes an economy setting, normal, Sport S, and Sport S+. Plus. I like the adjustable features of the car, but there's a point when it gets to be too much. Just ask the idiot who crashed his Aston Rapide because he didn't know what button to push. If I'm not familiar with a car, I'll ask. The four-wheel steering is unique to the Lexus brand in that it turns the front and rear wheels in opposite directions below 50 miles an hour. Above that, it turns them in the same direction according to what the computer decides about the conditions, wet or sunshine, slick or grippy. It's good to see the Japanese begin to recover. They always build great cars, but now they've got competition from Hyundai and others, and that should give them all the incentive they need to keep them coming. For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. I will see you next time.